Well, thank you all for coming out today. I, uh, this is a tragic uh, situation. I, I asked you guys to come today uh, because I wanted to make a point. What happened here this morning is just unnecessary. It's a tragedy, and we need to get it to stop. Fortunately, you know, we can do something about this. But this is what we saw last night in the debate just highlights why a situation like this right in temple. Our governor said, when asked about crime in Atlanta, and particularly the vote in Buckhead, he says, I'm going to keep my powder dry. That's what politicians say when they're going to do nothing. I know he signed a bunch of things in the law today, but the problem is, where's that been all year? Where's that been for the last four years? It's time to make this stuff stop. It's unacceptable. It's embarrassing. And it's not just here in Atlanta. Macon, where I was born, is short 200 police officers right now. They have the highest murder rate in their history. This is unacceptable. It's not just here in Atlanta, it's all over the state. When I was at Dollar General, I saw that. We can put a stop to this. This is bigger than Buckhead. It's about our children, it's about our community. The question I have for everybody today, and we'll be very brief, is do you feel safe today? And if the answer is not, then it's time to make a change in the governor's job. He's been at sleep at the wheel, keeping his powder dry for the last four years, and it's time to do something about that. We want to put more police on the streets. We want to get this thing under control and work with the mayors around this state to make sure that we get this nonsense to stop. Every night something happens here. Right over here on Piedmont, I got caught in street racing several months ago. It's unnecessary and it's dangerous. And it's going to ultimately create a situation in Georgia where people stop wanting to come here. So this is about life, it's about freedom, and it's about safety. And that's what I'm talking about today. So thank you all for coming out and I'll take just a couple of questions. Senator Perdue, uh, there's a national um, crisis, I think, among police departments. Los Angeles is short of officers in New York City. How is it Brian Kemp's fault that Atlanta is like other large metro areas, all struggling to keep officers on the beat? What, what are you going to do, just inherit it and do nothing? I mean, the answer of keeping your powder dry is not acceptable. There are solutions here. Why not start here in Georgia? Why just inherit what everybody else has? Why do we want to import the same murder and crime that other big democratically run cities, cities have? Why do we want to be like Chicago? We already have a higher murder rate in Atlanta than Chicago. I mean, this is something that a governor can do something about. When he was talking about, you accused him of keeping his powder dry. That was on Buckhead City specifically. Which is primarily about the crime situation. The primary reason the people in Buckhead want to have a vote about creating a city is so they can determine their own safety. They're not being protected right now, and that's what's driving that election, and that's why the connection was so strong. Did you feel you came here to Buckhead to sign those seven bills specifically to address the people in Buckhead? Richard, I don't know. Um, you know, why am I here? This, the point is, this is not a political thing for me. This is about my friends in Georgia. I am from Macon, Georgia. It's appalling to me that the murder rate in Macon, my hometown where I was born, is as high as it is, the highest it's ever been. That's unacceptable. That means kids are losing their lives. These were kids here. What about one of your kids? Well, it is now in some places in the state. That's why everybody in the state, everywhere I go right now, crime is one of the top issues they want to talk about. And to hear their governor say they're going to keep, he's going to keep his powder dry, that's just totally unacceptable. And that's what I'm calling out today. It's time for our governor, it's time for a new governor to get this under control. I'm going to ask you about last night's debate. How do you feel after last night's debate? What did you think about that? Well, I, I really believe that a weak governor was exposed last night. I mean, to say that, well, of course we have voter fraud in Georgia in our election. That's unacceptable. To say he's going to keep his powder dry, that's totally unacceptable. I mean, we heard a politician who has got a lot of experience in it, 20 years, give us a typical, I did this, I did this, I did this, when we know crime's out of control, our kids are being indoctrinated. Uh, this is just a real problem we have. We wanted to hear last night what a great job he did in COVID. He got a C. The Sanders, by comparison, we got an A. We got one of the lowest grades of any Republican governor in the country. So I think what was exposed last night is we have a governor who was in battle and who I think really uh, showed the true colors of why he's a weak leader and why we need to make a change. 